that teacher can forgive you. This is the left bend again, this is the right uh, encouragement. Left bend again. Left bend again. Then the lower part. You for, we all forgot that, uh, see? Then he said, this is the aorta. These are the things that goes to it. You know, all of these acetylatory aspects. Then, with the hump of your heart. You know, and then he simply said this. This heart could not be simply by the chance. There was an intelligent designer who looked at this and when he created man, he was created this part of man. That's something like man. Then he thought again, circulatory system, when you have problems, then this will happen. This is the result of this. Then I remember this teacher also. This is not my nose now, I'm telling you this. I have a teacher, my wife would call. She's retired now. She was my high school teacher. Uh, yes, uh, Alex from Belisa. The white wife would call. We call her Ati Lani. She taught the digestive system. And she said this Do you know where digestion starts? Most students say in the tummy, correct? Right? But this teacher said the digestion starts with the mom. And to a second year student at the time, I jaw dropped with the mom. Because of this old sign that comes down from the saliva, when you start chewing in, you must be the full digestion, you know, starts to take place. And this movement when you swallow the equals to a peristaltic movement. That was from my school. I still remember it. Peristaltic movement it goes there. Then as it starts to break down these things, by the way, the acids that you have in your tummy can break off things. Do you know? And she said this in the class. Do you know that when we are also filled with sin, the Lord can break the sin in us. When we simply allow Him, you know, of course, this is, this is a non-theologian saying things. When we allow the acids of His grace to break the hard things of our life, still sticks to me. Might not be the best theology, Pastor Gayoba, but it made sense to me. The Lord can break things. Can make things, design things. It's not to me. What I'm trying to say, friends, world views are important. And what these teachers asked to me were not simply knowledge, but world views. That they clearly made statements that they believe on an intelligent designer, on a God. And when you talk about world views, there, let me summarize world views. We can talk many, there are many world views, but let me simply summarize world views into three isms. Isms. First, theism. The world view which is theism is it posits that the, there is an existence of a personal God who is creator and sovereign. And because of this, this idea also posits that this supreme being is separate from creation but acts in its operation. That means God is not in creation but he is beyond. This is theistic. And if you talk about creation issues on creation and science right away, the most popular and most Christians now, they like this, which is theistic evolution. I don't agree with theistic evolution. Uh, I'm telling it all right here. Whether if you believe it, you know, we can have some conversations. But, what I'm trying to say is, it has become a popular trend also. It's a, it's a mixing of half-truth and half 
going on. Interesting. I think we go back here. That's the first reason. The second reason is called pantheism. Pantheism is intriguing in a way because pantheism is said as pantheism identifies an impersonal deity or God with the forces and the workings of nature. The reality consists of the university, a uh, universe, sorry, of the universe plus God. They are mutually inter interpenetrating and interacting. That means God can be anything within that creation. God can be that plant, God can be the tree, and so forth. This is my reason. 